shakes. Oh. <laughs> Bundy? <gasps> You're a Bundy! No, I'm not, Norman. I just think I'm getting sick. That's the first sign of being a Bundy. <laughs> Norman! <laughs> What'll I do? What'll I do? I call Fireman Sam. Oh, no. Where's the phone? Oh, we buried it. Ah! I'm not going out there. Uh, I need to signal for help. Um, uh, ooh, a flare. Uh, perfect. Oh, no. Oh, no. I just had a terrible dream that Norman Price threw a flare into the laundry basket and set fire to me house. It wasn't a dream, was it? Norman Price has set off a flare and caused a fire in the Flood's house. Norman Price has set off a flare and caused a fire in the Flood's house. Elvis and Ellie, you fight the fire from outside. Penny and I will rescue anyone inside. Right, Tom. Oh, the door's blocked. Stand back. Mandy! Calm down, Norman. It's just me. That sounds like Mandy. You take Norman and Mike out, Penny. I'm going up. And stay back from the door. I'm coming in. Oh. You're safe now, Mandy. Oh, dear. What's going on? Norman almost burnt our house down. And <laughs> I think I'm sick. You must have caught the winter bug. James and Hannah have got it, too. So they weren't Pondies, Norman. First rule of search and rescue. The higher up you go, the further, further you, you can, can see. see. Take her up, Tom. I see them. They're near the lighthouse. James is in trouble. We need to get there fast. No time. Uh, uh, Uncle Sam! I've got...
got you, James. I'll take her from here, Sarah. You three, hang on. Take us up, Tom. You all right, Penny? All fine here, Sam. I'll bring the other three back to the key. Somebody beam me up, please. Norman, you can stay right where you are. Firstly, you took a boat that didn't belong to you, then you didn't tell anyone where you were going. I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. And Sarah, just because you can work the controls on a boat doesn't mean that you're a sailor. Sorry, Fireman Sam. <laughs> this is your fault, Norman! <laughs> it can't be my fault! Look out, everyone! Fire! Oh, this is a dramatic twist. I didn't see that coming. No, no, this is not part of the show. It. Listen to me, everybody. We need to evacuate the area. <laughs> the Mountain Activity Centre is on fire, and my show is in ruins. The Mountain Activity Center is on fire and Station Officer Steele's show is in ruins. Stand clear, everyone. Move away from the fire. Over here, Gridlington! <laughs> oh, oh, it won't reach, sir! The hose is too short! Right, there's only one thing for it. We'll have to do it like the old days. Everyone, find a bucket! We need to make a line from the lake! <laughs> OK, team. We need to make sure the area is clear. Roger, Roger that, Sam. Tom. Tom, we've got a fire at the Mountain Activity Centre. We need Wallaby 2. Roger that, Sam. You can. <laughs> okay, Fireman Sam. All clear, Sam. All clear, Sam. We're all clear, Tom. Roger that, Sam. Ready, team? Now, let's pass the bucket, just like we did in the show. Pass, pass, pass. Pass, pass, pass. Pass, pass, pass. Pass, pass, pass. Pass, Oh, my turnip's doing the Lombarda. Oh, that hairy monstrosity has chopped my turnip into smithereens. We have to stop Norris before he ruins the whole competition. Oh, no. He's got my best carrot. Oh. <laughs> Stuck on a giant runaway pumpkin that's smashing through the park. James is stuck on a giant runaway pumpkin that's smashing through the park.
Firefighter Phillips, can you pick up Fireman Sam at the park? Roger that, sir! You take Norris back to the fire station. I'll go and rescue James. Roger that, Sam! Ellie! Follow that pumpkin. Towards me. I can't, Uncle Sam. I'm attached to the pumpkin by a harness. It's never easy in Pontypandy. We're going to have to be quick, Sam. We're heading for the cliffs. Oh, did she say cliffs? <laughs> Just keep your eyes on me, James. Sam, the wind's blowing the door shut. Hang on! Where's she going? Don't worry, James. We'll be back. We're going to go over the cliff! No, we're not, James. Someone order a rescue! Uh, why is she going backwards? So the wind keeps the door open, James. Oh. Hang on tight! Metric identification system seems to be targeting its subjects with hostile intent. Uh, what? It sees people and chases them. Invisible Norman man's chance to save the day from useless atomic boy. Uh, be careful, Norman. I don't need to be careful. I'm invisible, which means I can wait a minute. You can see me. We can all see you, Norman. But that means... He can see me. Run, Norman! <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I hope they stay away from my cans of petrol. Uh-oh. Better call Fireman Sam. Norman Price is being chased by a robotic dog that's on fire. Norman Price is being chased by a robotic dog that's on fire. The, the Fire, fire dog, dog 2000! This could be a big fire. Better take Jupiter! Penny, we're going to need you! On my way! Keep a safe distance away. Norman Man is doomed! 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 That takes care of Fire Dog. We need to be careful. There's petrol in there. Switch into sticky foam, Sam. The streets of Ponty Pandy are safe again, aren't they? I'm sorry I put myself in danger, Fireman Sam, but I really thought I was invisible. Oh, I'm sorry, but I think that the blame must lie with my Fire Dog 2000. So, this wasn't my fault then? Well, whoever's fault it was. I think you two should stop work on the Fire Dog 2000 for the moment and invent something less likely to burn down the whole of Ponty Pandy. <laughs> Don't worry, Radar. I think your job is safe for a while. Ha! <laughs> stop that. I'll get the gas canister ready for Ellie. No, I'll get it. No, I will. But Ellie said not to touch anything. Well, since when have you ever done what you're told? Give it to me. 
Sir, Penny, bring Jupiter and meet us at the mill. Roger that, Sam. Your shirt, anyway, Norman. Here's Fireman Sam. Looks like the fire's spreading fast, Sam. Eddie, you operate the outlets on Jupiter. Come on, Eddie. Let's put out that fire. Bessie and meet us at the lake. We'll take Hydrus. Roger that, that Sam. Sam. And Penny, you might need your scuba gear for this one. Roger that, Sam. And when we get there, don't just grab a floppy shovel and try to get on telly again. We need to hurry, Sam. It's filling up fast. What about Phoenix? Phoenix would be strong enough, but we'll never get her up here in time. Hmm. There is one other thing that might be strong enough to lift up that submarine. To 2000. I think it might be at the bottom of the lake, Joe. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Firing wind 
It is Ponty Pandy. Just keep calm, Norman. Nearly there. I got you. Only you could turn kite flying into an extreme sport. I wasn't kite flying. I was making a spectacular and very magical movie. Well, be careful. There's nothing magical about danger. Oh, your mum's dressing gown. Wally Wizzle faces the evil wizard in a great and epic magical battle. You'll never cast a curse on me, Lord Lizard Face. Oh, yeah? Ice cream has thank you! Oh, ah, ah! Spaghetti Lexio! <laughs> oh, cut! What's so funny now? I'm sorry, Norman. It just doesn't look magical at all. Right! You want magic? I'll show you magic. <laughs> Special effects sparklers! Take this, Lord Lizard Fritz! Wait, what? <gasps> I think I'd better call Uncle Sam. Hey, guys! Are we all ready to come down? No, I am not. Hmm. I'm not having any luck turning it off. And Tom's not due back with the proper CD for hours. Listen, you overpriced, oversized bucket of junk. Switch off now, and that's an order. Oh, I'm sorry, Norris. I'm afraid I can't do that. Well, I'll show you. Uh, no, sir, I, I don't think that's a... Switch to pool party mode. <laughs> Great! <laughs> Ooh! Tropical! Oh! Oh! A wizard's battle has caused a wildfire in the mountains, and it's spreading quickly! I think it's going to be one of those days. There. All out. Sparklers and dry grass? Not a good mix, Norman. Sorry, Fireman Sam. I was just trying to be extra magical. You know what would be really magical? If you stayed out of trouble for the rest of the day. The final scene will be danger-free, I promise. Well, let's hope so. And now, the big broom flying scene! Take one! No, Norman. That zip wire is really high up. It's all part of my mega magical special effects. You, Sean Big T. What's that sheep doing? What sheep? Um, looks like it's eating the rope. No, 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 no! Go away, sheep! You're not wanted here. Go and eat something Shoes. else. Come on, Tom. You're a wild man. Uh oh. Shoulder! I can't climb out! I think we better call Fireman Sam, eh? I can't see anything. Neither can I. I can with my Viewmaster 2000. What are they doing? Well, it doesn't look like they managed to find a toy for the little prince. Oh. But it does look like Dillis managed to sell them a jar of pickles from the discount aisle. Hooray! Hooray! Dillis will be pleased. 
She's been trying to use those up before they go out of date. Oh, they're coming out. Tom Thomas is stuck on a rocky ledge and has injured his shoulder. Tom Thomas is stuck on a rocky ledge and has injured his shoulder. Roger that, sir. Um, but, sir, if Tom is stuck on a ledge, who's going to fly the rescue helicopter? I can fly a helicopter. Oh. Sam, that was a close one. But now we'll have missed the prince. He'll have gone by the time we get back. But who is... Huh? What? Um... Anyone need a lift to Ponty Pandy? But... <laughs> Greetings and welcome to Ponty Pandy, Your Highness. Sis, sis, sis. Done, all of you. A fine achievement for the Ponty Pandy Cadets. A mysterious group of people have capsized their boat while trying to contact the moon men. I'll get down to the Ocean Rescue Center. <sighs> I think I need a day off. tonight, Penny. They could be miles away by now. Let's try north, Ben. Sam's out there somewhere. Roger that, Penny. Help! 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 Hold on! I'm on my way! Look! That must be from Sam! Are we glad to see you, Sam? Is everyone okay? We're all fine, Sam. Just a bit wet. Right. Help is here. Let's get you all out of the water. <laughs> you all must know that you should never go out on a boat without telling anyone where you're going. You didn't even have any life jackets or flares. We're really sorry, Sam. Well, it's a good job Norman and Hannah were looking for you, or no one would have known you were missing. Oh, we're very sorry our little society caused such distress, Fireman Sam. Did you hear that? They admitted it! They are a secret society! They were trying to lure the moon men to Ponty Pandy, and we, the Wi-Fi Alice, thwarted their plan! Oh, oh no, no. No, we don't lure moon men. They're a stargazing society. Oh, I see. Wait, how did you know that, Hannah? I mean, Agent Sparks? I'm a wi files investigator, remember? Actually, I just looked at their laptop. So why were you so secretive? We've discovered a new star, and we're going to be the ones to name it. That's what I thought. Unfortunately, according to the Star Watcher website, the star you were trying to look at was discovered last month. Oh, oh dear. Goodness me. Me. Well, that's another Wi Files case closed. Uh, Fireman Sam, would you like to join our Wi Files team? Eh? Mandy and her horse are stuck at the bottom of a slope past the crossroads on the Ponty Pandy Hills. Oh, 
Penny. We're about to head onto unsteady ground. Mandy, are you hurt? Sam's ready. The stretch is ready. Then let's go. <laughs> How's the horse? He was very scared, but I patted him and told him not to worry. Ah, oh, well done, Mandy. The horse is very calm. Now, let's give him a check. OK, Mandy. To get you up, just to be safe, I need you to lie on a stretcher. Lie flat for me. The horse is fine. We're ready for Phoenix's crane. Oh! The noise is scaring the horse. Old Phoenix. There, there. Sam? I'm going to keep the horse calm as you strap him into the sling, but do it slowly, OK? That's it. Stay nice and calm. And he's out. Thanks, Lizzie. How about some more beans, Hardiner? <laughs> oh, I think I've had enough. Well, looky here. Everybody's back, eh? And we even got some guests. Come on in, everybody. You know, I didn't really have riding lessons. I'm sorry for saying I did. Mandy, it's not a good idea to ride horses unless you know how to. Maybe I should have some lessons. I think I like horses after all. This is the tale of a cowboy ghost. No one knew quite what to do. His spooky stirrups went clink and a clank, clink and a clank and a boom! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you know, Penny, I think we've had enough scares for one day. Wait, Norman! Don't scare it! <laughs> Problems. I'll get my dad. Oh! Eh? It's locked. Ah! We're trapped. Rick, do something! I'm calling Sam and Sam. Uh, Sam, I've had a bit of an accident cleaning your uniform. But I did get rid of the smell. <laughs> Thanks, Elvis. But I think I... Ooh. There is a fire at the Flood's house. Mandy, Hannah and Norman are trapped inside. There's a fire at the Flood's house. Mandy, Hannah and Norman are trapped inside. is on fire! Again! Norman, Mandy, Hannah! I need you to keep away from the front door! Ready, Penny? Ready, Sam. Stay back, everyone! <laughs> Take my hand! Keep as low as you can, and I'll guide you through the smoke and out of the house. Walk straight and head towards <laughs> Jupiter's blue flashing lights. Sam! The cat is still in there! OK, Norman, I'll find it.
We'd better call Lizzie to come and check the cat's okay. The fire's out, Sam. Do you think the stinky cat is okay? He's fine. And even better, I found his owner, Mrs Chen. I'm meeting her at my surgery. We never did find out who stole the Pincy Ponsonby diamond. Oh, I know that one. It was Colonel Ketchup. Oh, wait. Or was it Lady Pifflington? Oh, maybe it was Professor Poodle Hair. I think I'll just wait till I can watch the end. Ah! Watch out, Mum! There's a fallen tree! Oh, that wasn't there last time. When was that? Ten years ago. Oh. Hit the brakes! Hit the brakes! Hit the brakes! I am hitting my... I don't think I'll make that helicopter ride. We need to call Fireman Sam. Norman and Dennis Price are stuck in a tree inside their car over the ravine in the woods. Oh my! And on to your last activity the ride in Wallaby 2! I'll need your help for this one. Right, cadets. Back to the centre. What? I don't believe this. <sighs> Trust Norman Price to ruin our helicopter ride. We're all set, Tom. How much farther? Over. The ravine is just ahead. Over. The car will be unsteady. I'll secure it first, and then we can rescue Norman and Dillis. Sam, Elvis, stand by to lower. The car is secure. Norman and Dillis! We're coming to get you! Okay. I need you to both keep very still whilst we open the doors. Ready, Elvis? One, two, three. Now, we're going to lean inside the car and attach you to a harness. Ready? That's it. Steady now. All clear. Pull us up now. Ellie, we're going to need Phoenix to get Dillis's car back. Over. Norman Bryce is stuck on a horse, which is stuck in some thick, sticky mud. Norman Price is stuck on a horse, which is stuck in some thick, sticky mud. Roger that, sir. Tell Ellie to bring Phoenix and meet us there. It's an animal rescue, so we'll need you to come along too, Lizzie. OK. And I'll need someone else... Arnold. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Ellie, remember to turn your siren off so we don't scare the horse. Roger that, Sam. Get me off! This is nothing like it is on the telly. Close as you can, Ellie. I'll get Norman to safety, and then we'll need to get the horse in the harness. 
Arnold, can you keep it calm? Me? You can do it, Arnold. <laughs> Don't you worry about anything. Don't worry, Norman. I've got you. Phoenix will get you out. Well, when I say Phoenix, technically speaking, it's a purpose-built 4x4 off-road appliance. for giving me another chance, Sam. You did really well, Arnold. You could come and work for me any time. <clears throat> Is there anything you want to say, Norman? Yes! If it wasn't for that silly horse, I would have won! I mean, I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. I just wanted to beat James. But you didn't, though, Norman, eh? The badge goes to whoever used their map correctly. Well done, James. You were totally brilliant. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me, Sarah. Wow! Oh! <laughs> it's normally me that does that. Oh, no! Mandy, throw them a life ring! Oh! I'll get Ben! You can't, Norman. Dad says he's on Ponty Pandy Island. I'll call Uncle Sam. Dearest Price is floating out to sea with Hannah and James and a giant birthday cake. Dennis is floating out to sea with Hannah and James and a giant birthday cake. Penny, you come with me to the Ocean Rescue Centre. Elvis, you help Station Officer Steele. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Sam. Dillis, I'll pick up James and Hannah. Roger that, Sam. Oh, my cake's got a soggy bottom. Leave the cake, Dillis, and grab hold of this. Get James first, Sam. I'm a much stronger swimmer. If you're sure, Hannah. Where's Hannah? Hannah! <gasps> I got Jupiter! <laughs> Hi, Pine! <laughs> oh, flying down the street tables, heading straight for the harbour, spread out among the trolley. Oh, we're really sorry we messed around with your present, Uncle Sam. And caused such a big accident. Well, as long as you always remember that racing around can be dangerous, especially when you're near the water. On behalf of everyone in Ponty Pandy, I would like to present my brother Sam with a very special present. Not just to say happy birthday, but also to say thank you. Comes the new dragon. You stay there, Gareth. As I'm the king of dragons, I just want to add some last minute touches. Oh. Once the king of dragons has a fire breathing dragon, I will be the greatest king ever. Ah, behold! 
my truck and... Wow! It's amazing! It's great! It's on fire! What? Whoa! Oh. And it's coming towards us! Oh! Oh no! It's rolling towards the station! I'd better call Fireman Sam. A fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. Oh, that's a new one. A fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. My Bessie's in that shed. All fires are out, and Bessie is fine, sir. Ooh, thank you, Sam. Well, Eddie, I might not have got into the smoke room today, but I did get to fight a fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> you did, Albus. Oh, dear. It looks like Norman might be about to get a good telling off. From Fireman Sam? No. Far worse. Norman Price! I can't believe you nearly said Station Officer Steele's Nelly. Um, I think you'll find that's Betty. Station Officer Steele's Bessie, a blaze! I'm sorry, Mum. I didn't do it on purpose. I know it was an accident, Norman, but you were playing with matches, and that is one thing you must never do. Did you manage to get all those pizzas in your oven, Hannah? Just about. It was a bit of a squeeze. Great! I'll call Grandad and tell him they're nearly done. Don't call Grandad, James. Call Fireman Sam. <laughs> Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Penny, you and Arnold go in Venus. We'll take Jupiter. Roger, Roger that, Sam. Shut off the electricity. Yeah, Penny, you put out the fire upstairs. Roger that, Sam. Power off, Sam. I did it! I got out of my animal rescue uniform! I'm ready to fight the fire! I'm sorry, Elvis, it's too late. The fire's out. Oh. Wait, it's not too late. What is it, Hannah? I put lots of pizzas in our oven and turned it up really high. Oh, no! That might be on fire, too! I'm on my way! One hundred percent. 
power's off. I'm really sorry. I got everyone to cram too many pizzas in the ovens. I think I got a bit bossy. A bit? I know you were trying to help your granddad, James, but you should have waited for your mum or dad to do it for you. I'm sorry, Sam. We should have kept more of an eye on them. And now Grandad doesn't have any pizzas for his railway gala. Ah, where is she? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Lady Puffle Paws. <laughs> Don't panic! I'll get you! That's Lady Pufflepaws. Come back, Lady Pufflepaws. Come back! Oh, and that's my Norman. We'd better call Fireman Sam. Uh, there, all balanced. Thanks, Elvis. We'll store the pieces here until we can return them. Sorry, one more piece. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Elvis, bring Saturn. Sausage rolls! Stay calm, we'll find them. I'm launching Saturn now. There he is. Norman, grab on to this. Come in, Elvis. Norman is safe, but I can't see the dog. Saturn's found Lady Pufflepaws. She's heading towards the ocean. We can't reach her in time. We can, if we take a shortcut. Get ready, Penny. Come in, Elvis. Lady Pufflepaws is safe, well, and very licky. How about a do bo skip a dip a do bo bo Oh! This way! No, this way! No, that way! No, that way! Never tell me the odds. I want my map! <laughs> I'm going to climb off now! <laughs> that stopped the engine! But you still have no brakes and you're heading straight for the ruins. Elvis, 
I want you to throw a rope to the bus to slow it down. You mean? Yep. Get out your lasso and round him up, partner. Now hit the brakes, Paddy! Sam, you stopped us just in time. Well, you can thank Elvis for that. But you should always check that vehicles are safe before you drive them. And if that brake cylinder belongs to this bus, then I'm guessing it wasn't. Oh, Trevor, I'm so sorry. Don't you worry, Mrs Chen. That was a good bit of exercise. <laughs> I'm just glad you're all OK. I promise that next time we have a school trip, it will be less haste, less speed. Marvellous job, you two. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. And as for you, Cridlington. Yes, sir. That was some lassoon, partner. <laughs> oh. Oh. A firefighter's got to do what a firefighter's got to do. Super Spy, scene 57. Showdown in the villain's lair. Action! Ah, Mr. Pond, I've been expecting you. Glad fingers, my old foe. Oh, it's a trap! Number two, tie up the prisoner. And cut! Tie up the stunt double. I don't like movie making. Or being tied to a chair. Stop complaining, James. All you have to do is direct a beam of sunlight through this magnifying glass and burn through the rope, like this. Simple, right? Um... Oh... Action! Uh-oh! James Jones is trapped in a garage full of burning oil cans. James Jones is trapped in a garage full of burning oil cans. Sorry, Ryan. It's an oil fire, so we'll need the sticky foam. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Air, 100%. Air, 100%. Benny, you shut off the electricity at the mains. He's fine. It's a good idea not to keep oily rags lying around. They can catch fire easily. Oh, I'm really sorry, Sam. I, I will be more careful in future. And Norman Price, next time you make a movie, have a grown-up supervise all the stunts. Yes, Fireman Sam. I'm sorry. We've looked everywhere for that fox, Hannah. I, I really should be getting back. No! Please, Trevor. If we don't find him, Mum will be really cross. And if you go, we'll never get back. You'd be a real hero if you helped us, Trevor. You got something in your eye, Norman? Eh, uh, no. I... Look, up there. I, I see something 
flying red and it's moving. It's the fox! I'll get him! No, Norman, that's a very tall tree. Let me do it. I am Chief Pioneer, remember? I just wish I hadn't had that pork pie for lunch. Keep going, Trevor. Now, a little to the left. That's it. You've got it. It's not a fox. It's not. It's a kite. Oh! Are you all right, Trevor? Uh, I think so. Wow! It's time to call Fireman Sam. I'm proud to announce Radar is 100% happy and healthy. Hooray! I'm still a bit confused, Lizzie. Why has Radar been under the weather lately? I have no idea. Well done, boy. You deserve your favourite chocolate treat. No, Elvis. Chocolate can make Dobbs really ill. Have you been giving him lots of chocolate treats? Well, uh, no. Yes. Maybe a few. Mystery solved. Ooh! <laughs> Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Penny, you and I will go in Venus. Elvis, call in Tom with the helicopter. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Go get them, boy. I'm proud of you. I see him, boy. 